Welcome to Top Grade. I'm Spencer Miller and today I'm excited to present to you a selection of brand new Canadian middle grade titles for the spring 2022 season. Starting in nonfiction, our first title for today is Sky Wolf's Call, The Gift of Indigenous Knowledge from Anik Press. It is written by the award-winning team of Eldon Yellowhorn and Kathy Lowinger. This is one of the first books on traditional ecological knowledge for young readers. It details how Indigenous peoples throughout North America have observed, practiced, experimented, and interacted with plants, animals, the sky, and the waters over millennia and explains how knowledge keepers have shared their wisdom with younger people through oral history, stories, and ceremonies. Um, this book that is divided up into different chapters explores traditional uses of water and fire, um, as well as astronomy and healing practices. This fantastic resource will encourage teachers to incorporate Indigenous knowledge into science education and challenge and change the way that students think about and interact with the environment. Our second title today is Urgent Message from a Hot Planet, Navigating the Climate Crisis from Orca Book Publishers. It is written by Anne Erickson and illustrated by Bell Wuthrich. When Anne Erickson was researching for this book, she met with groups of students and young people and she would ask them, how do I talk about these climate disasters with young people? And their response was to be honest and tell them the truth, but to also make sure to tell them what they can do. And that's exactly what Anne did. This book outlines the science behind global heating and its root causes, providing ways for youth to take action because no one is too small to make a difference. And it encourages hope and joy in the conversations that we have about taking care of our earth. Our students have big questions about the climate crisis and they are anxious about their futures. And this is an invaluable resource as it is carefully written for young readers to reduce anxieties by answering questions and delivering vital information while making sure that young people know they are needed, loved, and that there are solutions even to the biggest problems. In fiction, our first title for today is For the Record by Owl Kids Books. It is written by Monique Polak. 12-year-old Justine's parents are recently divorced, and she and her little sister B go back and forth between their parents' homes in Montreal. Their mother, whose anxiety manifests as the need to control, believes that their father is a bad influence, so she enlists Justine's help in collecting evidence that would lead to getting sole custody. Justine starts to make notes secretly in her notebook whenever she's with her father of all of his behaviors and any little mistake that she makes. Eventually, she even feels pressured to make up lies about her father that would make him look like a poor guardian. While facing immense pressure, Justine finds the courage to be honest about her situation and ask for help from the other adults in her life. Throughout the book, Justine's clever, unique voice guides readers as she navigates complicated family dynamics and summons the courage to tell the truth no matter the consequences. This middle grade novel thoughtfully explores the realities of parents' divorce and addresses the widespread phenomenon of parental alienation. Back Matter includes resources for readers who are experiencing similar situations. Our next title is On the Line from Orca Book Publishers. It is written by the team of Eric Walters and Paul Cochia, who bring their expertise together into a single point of view. The story is about 13-year-old basketball star Jordan Riker, who is shocked when his parents separate and his dad announces that he's gay. At first, Jordy struggles with processing this change and he feels abandoned by his father right before the big game. But luckily, with the help of the new girl and a revelation from his best friend, Jordy soon comes to realize that while some things change, other things never do. This book explores the themes of friendship, family dynamics, and divorce and it does an excellent job of challenging harmful ideas and norms around gender and sexuality that persist in sports and athletics. It's so important that we provide meaningful representation to LGBTQ identities and the books that we include in our classroom and libraries. The fact that this book features a gay parent is a wonderful reason to share it with students to help them be able to better understand and navigate the relationships that they have in their life. Our final selection for today is Mountain Runaways from Dundurn Press, written by Pam Withers. When John, Corka, and Aaron lose their parents in an avalanche, they are concerned about being separated from children's services and the foster care system. John and Corka are especially worried to be away from 11-year-old Aaron, who is selectively mute. Instead, the Gunnarsson kids decide to run away into the mountains and fend for themselves until John can turn 18 and become their legal guardian. 
but it turns out their plan is full of holes, and when food and equipment go missing and illness and injury strike, things start to get scary. Grief, cold, hunger, and sibling infighting threaten to tear the group apart. Um, this story is rapidly paced and you get about 50 pages into it before you even realize that you have started. Because of this quick pace, the action-filled plot, and the building suspense, I think this book is really ideal for reluctant readers as it's going to hook them and keep them turning pages right until the satisfying ending. On behalf of the Association of Canadian Publishers, thanks for watching. We love hearing from you. We hope that you'll leave us a comment and let us know which books you're excited to bring into your classroom this season. Be sure to subscribe to the link in our description to receive new top grade content right into your inbox. And we also want to offer a big thank you to Ontario Creates for their continued support of the program.